Good evening. Erie's Bayfront could soon be getting a new major attraction in the form of a Perry class guided missile frigate. The story is new at 10 o'clock. Brian Wilk joins us in the control room with much more, including reaction tonight. Brian. That's right, Sean. Work has been quietly underway for many months to secure a Perry class frigate to be permanently uh, secured, excuse me, permanently moored at Presque Isle Bay off of Dobbins Landing. Now, the nonprofit organization, the Oliver Hazard Perry Shipyard, is currently in talks with the United States Navy for the project. The U.S. Navy has given several levels of approval and support for the transfer of the ship from Philadelphia to Erie. You're dealing with an institution that's you know, as old as the nation and they want to present themselves well and they want to make sure that they're in places that present themselves well. And there's really no greater place to me than to see that Navy spirit that's very much alive here in Erie, Pennsylvania, that maritime community. The plan is for the 455-foot ship to be used as a floating museum open to the public for tours, events, and to assist in U.S. Navy activities. There were 51 Oliver Hazard Perry class frigates put to service in the 1980s and retired from active service in 2015. Don't give up the ship. It was during the Battle of Lake Erie that Oliver Hazard Perry hoisted the famous flag on the U.S. Brig Niagara and defeated the British fleet at Putten Bay over 200 years ago. Fott says this would be a great addition to Erie's already rich maritime history. Well, we're so fortunate here in Erie that we have this position, we have this spot where you can go to the, literally to the ground where great events occur. Perry and Dobbins to have the vision to build the fleet that they did here that ultimately would go into Putin Bay, defeat the most powerful fleet Navy on the planet, the British. Many people think the addition would also be a big boost to the local economy. I think it's a great idea. I think it'll be really cool to have another um, historic thing to come down and look at and that'll bring profit to the city and we definitely need that right now. This is one more um, place they can visit so then of course when they're staying at our hotels and eating at our restaurants so it just benefits Erie all around and especially the downtown area. Joseph Fott says more details of the Oliver Hazard Perry shipyard are to be released next week during a news conference and the plan is to have the is to have the ship here by fall of 2022. Sean? Uh, Brian Wilk in the control room tonight.